All right, guys, part four of our carving uh, fish for an ice fishing table. Um, the last, or no, this piece I didn't show what I did to it. Um, I can't hold a camera and carve at the same time, and I didn't have my tripod ready. Again, more excuses for nothing, but you'll see it. Anyway, I'll turn you around, you can All check. right, guys, so we're starting off with our epoxy build um, to put onto our table. We're just using our normal... Um, this is going to be the pour on, which we get from Michaels. And then we have the deep pour that we got from that company that I'll show you guys later in the next the next uh, pour. This basically, we just did four ounces. So two ounces of resin, two ounces of hardener. And you, you know, just make sure you really mix it up. It says about two minutes. We try to mix it for at least three to five. Uh, it gets tiring, but and what, it, what you want to do again, I showed you guys before, is you want to make sure it turns milky white. So, uh, I'm going to bring you guys down to show you here what we're doing. All right, so there's the, there's the table. Let me back out of it. Um, what we're trying to do, first of all, is just get some epoxy just under the fish. So A, it'll stay solid, and then B, it'll fill in that gap that I told you guys about. Uh, we didn't have a normal brush, so we had to use a little piece that we have here. That's whatever. It's a, it's another brush, but I had to cut it at an angle. So we'll start by just and we'll, we'll start by just pouring it on the fish. And the fish is gonna get epoxy too. Not as much in the side. And the gravity will take it down. What we're trying to do is get inside that uh, really big gap that's down here. Um, again, you know, I said before. <clears throat> it's really cold outside, cool, I should say, and uh, very important that epoxy cures at a certain temperature. So that's why we're doing it here. We've got the tarp down and everything. And we'll be as safe as we can. We have some working time on this, so we can spread it around and everything. So that's what we'll do is we'll just slowly cover the fish, get where the hook is. And even the line and everything. You want to get everything just nice and coated. This way, nothing will break. It'll stay in one spot. So, we're just going to get in there. This way, we can make sure there's no holes at the bottom. And that's so going to be a lot of. A lot of a lot of covering to do with this. That's why we're going to use this epoxy first. This epoxy is also like a self rubbing so it will help get into the gaps that are lacking. And like I said, we're just going to spread it so we can cover in that that hole. That's the most important part. Is just getting in that little hole there, so you know we don't have to waste so much more of the deep pour epoxy on. On this build. Now I noticed that <clears throat> this brush is not probably the best for it because I can already see stuff peeling off of it. So I'm just going to tilt the table. I'm just going to run a bit more in there. Also, I want to get some inside and everywhere on on the fishing rod. It doesn't matter because um, we don't want it to move anymore. I'm just kind of laying a little bit of epoxy on here. This way, it'll be solid. You can't move the rod anymore. You don't really want to. I don't see what the purpose of moving the rod would be. It's not like we're gonna. Use the fish, this fishing rod ever again. I'm just put a little bit of epoxy on the line, like so. It'll stay in there. Also, the hole where the epoxy, or where the fishing rod will be, we'll have a little bit of there too. Oh, 
All right, so here we go. We put a coat on. It's gonna take at least 24 hours to dry. And uh, so we'll let this dry and then we'll post up. It's gonna to have to be a part five to our video because uh, this is gonna take a while and we still got the deep pour to put on there. So, okay guys, sorry about that. So long, long video, long build, but I just don't wanna make them like, you know, 20 minutes each video if I have to. All right, stay tuned for the next one.